All right, I believe it's recording now. So thanks for being on again with me, Meredith here. I am a registered dietitian and doTERRA wellness advocate. And I'm excited just to share with you some ways you can use doTERRA essential oils and some of the other doTERRA products um, before, during, and after your weight loss surgery. So um, just a little bit about me. I wanted to share with you that Two of my top five um, strengths, this is according to the Clifton Strengths Finder. Um, one, the, the, my number one strength was futuristic, and another one of my top five strengths was restorative. So basically, I like to kind of peer over the fence and gaze into the future, you know, picture a better future. Um, you know, I dream a lot. I have, I have a lot of visions of health and well-being and not being sick and doing everything I can to not be sick and to make the most of the one life I have to live. And I kind of want to like to share that vision with others. You know, I like to give hope. So there is hope out there. There are alternatives, there's options, there's better ways. And that's part of what I see with doTERRA. Um, and then as far as restorative, what that means is I like to fix things. So I, I do, I enjoy problem solving. Um, and I like to think that I can help fix people, but that is not my job. My job is just to help empower people to help them, um, better themselves. You know, it, it's not my job, my responsibility you know, I don't have that control to fix people, but what I can do is share with you the tools, um, you know, some additional tools to put into your tool box um, to use to, um, to help yourself. So, hang on, I wonder why. All right, I don't know, um, okay. Anyway, so what I just want to share with you tonight is just, um, you know, a few, well, what essential oils are, first of all, we'll start with the basics, um, why doTERRA, um, how to use them, and how to get them in your home, and how to start using them safely and effectively. So essential oils are basically the natural aromatic compounds that come from plants. So they come from all the basic parts of the plant. They're naturally found in the seeds, bark, stems, roots, flowers, and other parts of the plants. Um, they are very, very concentrated. They're 50 to 70 times more concentrated than dried herbs. So, you know, um, I like to kind of use this equivalent like you know, if you're going to drink a couple of, cup of peppermint tea, if you're feeling a little nauseous, um, you know, you would have to drink 28 cups of peppermint tea to do what one drop of peppermint essential oil can do. So they're very, very potent and concentrated. So one drop goes a long way. Um, and they're used for a wide range of emotional and physical benefits. So most of what I'm going to cover tonight just hits on the physical aspects of them. Um, so, but we can always talk about the emotional benefits later. So why doTERRA? I can only speak for doTERRA. I've been using doTERRA longer than I've been working with Dr. Helmi and Dr. Asvani. Um, they, doTERRA is the only one, the only brand out there that is certified pure therapeutic grade. Okay, so the highest quality out there, you know, these oils are sourced from a global network of growers, farmers, distillers. Um, this, this is what ensures good quality oils because we get them from where they're grown best. We don't, we don't get our lavender from a patch like a field in Utah. You know, we, we get it from Bulgaria and from France. So it's, it's legit. It's the good stuff. Um, we don't just routinely test for purity and potency um we test every batch okay so that's key too um it's not just any other essential oil like right now you can go to walmart <laughs> you can go to bed bath and beyond uh costco and find essential oils <laughs> or i should say essential oils um but if you look on it you look on the package and it says it's wild orange and it says 
for external use only and that it's flammable in caution, then you might want to run the other way because that's not pure essential, you know, wild orange essential oil. So um, anyway, it, it's, it all comes down to quality. You get what you pay for and I'm only going to speak to the quality of doTERRA. Okay. So um, let's see. So how to use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go through, um, doTERRA has a couple of kits and they're compact. Uh, it, it's the top 10 most commonly used essential oils. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of start there. That's a great starting place. And then I'm gonna, um, so I'm gonna address the oils as we go along, how to use them as we go along. Um, and then a few other products at the end. Okay, so, um, so the first oil I wanna talk about is actually lavender. So where's my lavender? Um, so lavender essential oil is good for a lot of things. Um, how many of you have had problems with sleep or stress, falling asleep, staying asleep, daily stress, migraines, headaches, um, burns, skin issues, um, allergies, you know, all of those kind of things that I'm not being compliant right now, I'm just being real. Um, but lavender essential oil is great for all of these things. I have a patient actually, um, she just moved to a foreign country, but she would walk around. She was known for walking around with her bottle of lavender essential oil for her migraines. So she would just open it and smell it right from the bottle. So it's also lavender is very, very widely studied for its um, sleep benefits and for helping us to kind of de-stress. Um, it's also good for burns. My sister healed a um, boiling water burn on her thigh using lavender, coconut oil, and another um, heat, very healing oil known as helichrysum. But lavender is really good for skin health, that stress, um, and sleep. So, so if you're having trouble falling asleep, you're a little anxious about your surgery coming up, you know, a little bit of lavender, a few drops on your pillowcase, you can put it in a diffuser, or you can just put a drop in the palm of your hand and inhale deeply, okay? So pretty easy to use there. You can use it all three ways. Um, lemon, lemon is another one I want to talk to you about. Um, it comes from the lemon peel. Okay, so this is different than lemon juice that you would put in your water. Um, lemon essential oil is actually very, very detoxifying. Um, you know, it's going to pull the toxins from your body and get them out. <laughs> we don't want them stored in our body. So um, doing a drop of lemon water early in the morning on an empty stomach and just a little bit of um, lukewarm water is going to help kind of wake up your liver. So um, kind of get that metabolism going. Um, it's also easier on your teeth than actual lemon juice, okay? A um, little bit of lemon squeeze in your water is fine, but if you're worried about that, um, you know, eroding the tooth enamel, lemon essential oil would be better. So, um, and one drop goes a long way. Let me just tell you, so this, this bottle of lemon essential oil has about 250 drops in it. And, um, you know, if you use... It, it, one to two drops at a time, that's two to four cents per serving. So um, I don't always have fresh lemons at home, but I can just uh, whip out my bottle of lemon essential oil and add a few drops. Then peppermint, good old peppermint. I like to pair the lemon and the peppermint together for a natural energy boost. So, you know, the, the two weeks um, leading up to surgery, you're not supposed to have any caffeine, get the caffeine out of your system, and the six weeks after surgery. So uh, one of the complaints that I hear a lot is they're tired. You know, you're kinda, your body is literally having to detox off that sugar, the starches, break that vicious cycle, and also come off the caffeine, and caffeine's an addictive substance. So to kind of help you do that, um, lemon and peppermint together are kind of your energizing duo. So, you know, you can put a drop of peppermint and a drop of lemon in your water and drink it, you know, mid-afternoon or in the morning to get your, your day going. Um, you can diffuse it. You can just breathe it. You can put it on the bottom of your feet. Um, but get that in there. It's a very, very invigorating 
combination. This will wake you up. Um, so, and, and plus if you choose to stay off of caffeine, you know, this is a, another way to get your natural energy boost. Um, also, I don't know if the nurse at Centera is still doing it, because um, there's a new bariatric coordinator now, but um, Chris, when she was there, was using peppermint essential oil to help patients with their nausea right after surgery. Um, and actually, I just had a patient she had surgery on Tuesday and stopped by to get a bottle of, um, to borrow a bottle of peppermint essential oil for that reason, because she knew that it helped her husband when he had the surgery done. So um, peppermint is really, really good for kind of um, helping to, to ease that nausea that you might experience afterwards. Um, it's also good for headaches and migraines too, so. Um, Let's see, what next? Um, I wanna just talk real quick about oregano. Oregano is like better than antibiotics, okay? So oregano is one oil that it has blood thinning properties, so you wanna avoid it for the two weeks before and the two weeks after surgery, okay? Just to be on the safe side, we don't want it to um, enhance the uh, effects of the blood thinners that you're already getting and um, you know, we just want to kind of keep this out of the picture. So follow your doctor's orders to be on the safe side. I would say just keep oregano outside of that four week window. Okay. But um, oregano, if you feel like you're coming down with something and you don't have time to take off of work or, you know, miss, uh, miss work or, um, you know, one of your kids or somebody's getting sick, rub a little bit of oregano on the bottom of your feet and that should do the trick. So try to always have this on hand and do it at the very first sign. All right, the sooner you can do it, the better. But oregano um, is great for not getting sick. Okay, so that that's worthy right there, right? Peace of mind. You don't, you're not going to use oregano very often, um, but when you need it, you're glad you have it on hand. So so if you like to save money um, from having to go to um, doctor's office visits, um, co-pays, prescription co-pays, time missed from work, you know, it's, it's a money saver. Um, Melaleuca is one that is also really good. Um, it's an antifungal oil. And a lot of people use Melaleuca for um, skin and hair health. So Melaleuca is also known as tea tree oil. So you might see um, Melaleuca added into a lot of other products. Um, and that's because it has very cleansing properties. So um, a drop or two added to your shampoo. You can add a drop again to the bottoms of your feet if you're starting to feel like you're coming down with something. Um, skin health. So if you're acne prone or you have um, kids that are having breakouts or getting scrapes a lot, um, Melaleuca is also really good to have on hand um, for those kind of things. And then one more single oil I want to cover, um, frankincense. So uh, we love our frankincense. So um, we kind of go by the phrase, when in doubt, get your frankincense out because frankincense makes everything better. Um, so for your wound and scar healing, you know, if you have scars that you want to heal up after surgery, um, if you want to, you know, you would just put a little bit of maybe a carrier oil like coconut oil, um, some sort of oil like that in a drop of your frankincense and maybe even melaleuca and lavender and rub it right over the area. So, um, Michelle, I'd be curious to know if you did that um, for any of your, your scars um, and if you noticed anything, so. I, I did use it um, and I'm actually still using it on the scarring from my recent foot surgery. Okay. Um, and honestly, I did not use it with um, a carrier oil. Okay. I just put it right on my scar once it scabbed over, there and that's go. what I'm doing with my um, my foot surgery as well. Good. Awesome. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so frankincense is great for cellular health and for healing, um, so 
It's going to help, you know, minimize the, the appearance of scars. It's also good if you just care about overall skin health. Um, another common concern after surgery is um, loose and saggy skin. And like I always say, you can only control the controllables. Um, that goes for everything in life. You know, so are you staying hydrated? You know, drink your water and put some lemon and peppermint in there. Are you taking your vitamins and minerals? Are you um, staying, you know, are you doing some strength training? Are you moisturizing your skin? So when you put on your lotion, um, and preferably it's a non-toxic lotion, uh, you might want to just add a few drops of frankincense to it. So that is really, really going to help um, has those rejuvenating effects for your skin, um, for your face, skin, arms, belly, um, everywhere. And actually, I do a couple drops of frankincense in an empty veggie capsule. So I take this one internally. And... Um, and, and also, I'll just put it directly under my tongue. I mean, I don't think it tastes great or anything. I don't love it, but I love what it does for me and how I feel with my anxiety personally when I do take this on a regular basis. So, um, so frankincense is awesome. It's an oil in December. You can actually get it for free. So I'll tell you how um, towards the end, but this is an amazing oil that you don't want to be without. Meredith, can I yeah. say something? Yeah. Um, as a bariatric patient, I don't know if there's other, I'm assuming that this is geared towards bariatric patients as well. Mm -hmm. I happen to know Meredith in both realms of doTERRA and the wellness realm. Yep. The, I mean, the weight loss realm. But I am about 15 months post-op. And I've been using doTERRA since the beginning of my surgery. And I literally start every single day with two drops of frankincense right underneath my tongue. It yeah. doesn't affect my stomach as, you know, at all. It's not hard on it. And that's, that is how I get going. And then with the lemon in my water all day long. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, I think that's a great start. And the reason why we say a few drops under the tongue, um, that is a, a place that you can put an oil um, to get it very quickly into your bloodstream because of all those capillaries under your tongue. So you're going to get it absorbed very quickly. And frankincense you can take internally because there's a supplements fact panel on it. Um, for doTERRA, remember I'm only speaking for doTERRA, when you see that supplements fact that looks like a nutrition label, that means that you can take it internally. So that's awesome that they do that. They make it easy because I'll show you an oil in a minute where you can't take it or shouldn't take it internally. Um, and also a note on the citrus oils, right, Michelle? We only want to put these in um, stainless steel or glass. We do not want to drink our citrus oils, um, citrus oil water out of plastic or styrofoam. Okay. Exactly. We do not want to do that. We no. don't want to put more toxins in our body um, because it will pull those petrochemicals from the plastic and the styrofoam and we don't want to then put it in our body. So only glass or stainless steel and a stainless steel or glass straw too. Okay. So, so yes, we want to be safe using them. Um, so I told you I was going to show you. So this, this oil, Breathe, is also really good um, just right now for winter wellness and staying healthy and easy breathing, um, you know, coughing, congestion, allergies, bronchitis, pneumonia, all anything that's respiratory related, um, you want this blend, the respiratory blend. So breathe is really good for, for those kind of things. It's also really good for panic attacks. So I've used this. I've actually had a patient who has had the duodenal switch um, use breathe I, to help her calm down. She was kind of panicking because she got off track with her diet and her vitamin um, and mineral schedule um, routine and was very, very panicking. She, was very, she, she came in just torn up. She, she was emotionally distraught. She was having a panic attack and I gave her some breathe and it helped her calm, calm helped calm her nerves. Um, it, it works quickly like that. So whether it's an acute, you know, kind of stress 
you know, panic attack like that, or if you're just nervous about having your surgery or anything in life really coming up, you know, just taking a little bit of breathe. Um, it's got peppermint in it, um, eucalyptus, melaleuca, lemon, cardamom. It's got some other oils. It's a blend. So it's got some of those in it that are going to help just open up your airways and support better breathing. So um, sometimes in life, we just need to stop and breathe. Am I right? Like, it sounds so simple, but I, it's something I have to remind myself a lot. So, but breathe does not have a supplements fact panel. Okay. Um, so we would not want to take this one internally. This is just for either breathing it in through a diffuser. Um, you can put a drop again in the palm of your hand, just, just drops out and rub it together and inhale. It's as easy as that. Okay. Um, so that's how you would use breathe. Um, okay. I want to talk about deep blue. I know a lot of people suffer from arthritis, back pain, knee pain, joint discomforts, you know, um, things like that. It's very uncomfortable. And I know a lot of people who have found relief naturally just using a little bit of deep blue topically. So deep blue does come in a rub too, but this is the straight up oil. It's another blend and it has wintergreen in it. And it has a child safety cap on it because we do not want to take wintergreen internally. All right. Our wintergreen has a chemical in it um, or, you know, a, a component that our liver can't break down. So we don't want to take wintergreen internally ever. Um, but this oil, it smells like icy hot, but it's natural. It doesn't have the um, petroleum byproducts in it um, or any other toxic ingredients. It's just essential oils that are very, very soothing. Soothing for your muscles, so it's also good to use um, before and after exercise. So, you know, whether you're just getting started, you're getting up and you're walking around, um, you know, and your, your muscles, you know, you're, you're constantly challenging yourself a little bit more and more every day, um, but using some deep blue to kind of help just assist you know, with the blood flow and, and those achy muscles. So you don't need to turn to, you know, Aleve and Tylenol and Motrin and, you know, you're not supposed to be taking the um, NSAIDs anyway um, because it can increase your risk for ulcers. So a lot of patients say that Tylenol isn't cutting it. Well, so then what should you do? Definitely give Deep Blue a try. And then you, you really want to have this on hand when you start strength training Talk about sore muscles. If you haven't used them in a while, they're going to be a little sore. So using some deep blue oil, just rubbing it right over the location that's hurting. You know, if your lower back is bothering you, been sitting in the car in this traffic around here, um, rubbing it there, your knees, you know, you have like achy wrists, rub it on your wrists. Um, yeah, so many uses. So deep blue, let me just tell you a funny story real quick is the is the oil that really got me. I had a little pogo stick incident um, when I first got started, when I got my starter kit. Um, I, I, my foot slipped off of the pogo stick while we were camping and oh my gosh, it hurt. Oh my God, so bad. But I put some deep blue on it and it never bruised. It never got swollen. It, it, I mean, it started off throbbing like, oh, here we go. What kind of injury is this? Um, so don't ever show your, try to show your kids how to use a pogo stick um, in flip-flops and always have your deep blue on it. <laughs> so, okay, and then I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna make this fast. So, Digestin is another oil um, blend. This one is awesome, awesome, awesome for your digestive tract. Anything digestive related. This is my youngest son's favorite oil. Um, my older son with autism, he loves the oils. He knows what they're all about and everything. My younger son, eh, he doesn't, he take them, leave them. Um, but he knows, he knows when to ask mommy for digestion. So this just rubbed a little bit on his belly, always does the trick. Um, and he'll actually even drink it in water too. This one you can drink. Again, see the supplements fact panel? Oh, this one looks a little bit different, but um, there's a the supplements fact. Um, 
but you can put it in your water. Meredith. Yep. Go ahead. I, um, I personally think that that oil should go in every bariatric patient's mm -hmm. um, hospital bag because I didn't go to Centura. And so I had mine at Fair Oaks and they didn't do doTERRA, mm -hmm. but you had told me that, you know, I could use it. So I had it in my bag. And after I woke up with the gas and the nausea, yes. OMG, and within 10 minutes of putting that digestion around my belly button clockwise, it was unbelievable. It exactly. went right away. Isn't it crazy how fast it works too? Yes. It was unbelievable. It was unreal. It was a lifesaver, honestly. Right. I mean, you really don't think. So this oil you can use topically and it still fascinates me like, oh, an oil on my belly isn't going to help me actually feel better, but it does. You have to try it. Um, you know, before Dr. Homey took out my gallbladder, um, when I was having issues, I would get temporary relief with this until I could have my surgery. Um, you know, now I don't, I don't need it. Um, actually, I mean, last night my stomach wasn't feeling too good. I did put some digestion on, but on a regular basis, um, yeah, digestion is great for the gas, the constipation. Guys, I know constipation's an issue after surgery. And so, and exactly like what Michelle said, clockwise over your abdomen, clockwise over your abdomen is going to help things kind of move along. So these oils are natural, they're plant-based, they're going to help bring balance to your body. So that's why you can use an oil like digestion for diarrhea or constipation. You know, how can one oil work for both things? You know, you don't need 10 different products in your, your medicine cabinet just for bowels that don't work like you want them to. Um, digestion is one bottle that can do, do all that, you know. Um, so nausea, motion sickness, morning sickness, that queasiness um, after surgery when you wake up. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's got peppermint oil in it, plus some other oils that are known to help with um, anything digestive related, okay? So, so that's, um, those are the top 10 there. So you've got the six single oils and the four blends. Those come in, um, there's two basic top 10 kits. There's the small bottle kit and the large bottle kit, okay? So the small bottle kit, if this is something you're interested in, is 150. Otherwise, the big bottle kit, you get three times the amount of oil for less than twice the price, and it comes with a free diffuser. So, um, you know, by getting it as a kit, it's extra discounted too, because you're not going to pay that, um, that wholesale account fee of $35. That's waived. Okay. Um, so, so that's probably the best way. So, there's, you know, if you're interested, talk to Michelle or I about um, getting a top 10 kit and we'll help you get started using those. Um, and what's really awesome, I do want to point out that there was other stuff I wanted to talk about tonight, but I'll, I'll make another video, um, including the probiotics, the, the digestive enzymes, and the trim shape, um, just to name a few, but obviously I'm not going to get to those because I talk too long. Um, but the basic idea here is that you know, you'll find doTERRA is a lifestyle. So this is not just using one oil one time and being done and life is peachy keen, okay? This is a lifestyle and about reducing our overall toxic load. Um, but it can be overwhelming. So it's good to have somebody there to kind of help guide you and set up a plan of action and help you learn the ins and outs of what's really the next step. So, so, you know, talk to one of us. Um, let's see. So, it, it, you know, overall, it's just a lifestyle, like I said. And um, there's lots of other benefits to joining doTERRA and getting your own wholesale account. So um, I'm not, I don't have time to co cover all that or get into that right now. But, you know, if you're interested in looking at having convenient... <laughs> Um, natural alternatives ready, like to add to your toolkit, you know, you can still, you know, if you have that headache, you know, you can still go take your Tylenol, but why wouldn't you at least try, you know, some 
uh, lavender or some frankincense first, you know, try that, you know, there's not going to be that liver toxicity um, risk with these oils compared to taking Tylenol and other oils on a daily basis. So again, Meredith, do, yeah, Meredith, I'm sorry. Do you mm -hmm. find that um, this, I mean, for the people who are questioning whether they should bring the natural solutions into their home, I like to say it's an 80, 20 thing. 80% of the time, I know that doTERRA has something that I need mm -hmm. as far as my healthcare goes. And 20% of the time, I may need to go to the doctor. Yeah, that's, that that's how pretty you... much. Yeah. And even I think the top 10 oils will, is a good way to start to make over your medicine cabinet by like 80%. So yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Yeah. So Great. Most, well, thanks so much. I have to run to another yeah. Zoom call. So thanks, Meredith. I really appreciate okay. it. Good luck yeah. to everybody going into surgery. Thanks for being on, Michelle. Oh, sure. Thanks. Bye. Um, okay. So yeah. So there you have it. Those are the top 10. Um, if, if you think that that might be of some value, we can definitely talk and I can help you get set up. Um, and help you learn a little bit more. I'm also happy to give you an ITOV scan. So this is a little personalized scanner. Um, you just hold it and it takes about two minutes and it scans your body and tells you what oils you need. So it's pretty cool. It's based on um, galvanic skin response. <laughs> so anyway, for now, please go to my Facebook page, Wellness with Meredith. Um, like and follow my page to get all the updates and all the, the free education you, your little heart could, could desire. Um, if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one with me, I'm happy to do that too. Um, if you want to host a make and take class, those are fun. Um, and you leave with little rollers for very specific issues. Okay, so my Facebook page is Wellness with Meredith. Um, also on Instagram if you do Insta. So Wellness with Meredith there. And you can also email me. So that is uh, MeredithHillRD at gmail.com. So thanks again for being on. I hope you guys have a great night. Happy holidays. Bye. Bye, Miss Francine.